In this video, we're going to look at how annotations are added to the scene. Starting with the Distance tool and using the Freehand option, we are picking the corners of the extraction unit mounted to the ceiling. When picking the points, you need to be careful that you're picking the points that represent the unit and not nearby points which are in the background like the ceiling rafters. Next, we want to understand the distance from the underside surface of the unit to the top of the floor. With the distance tool still running and using the surface option, this will allow us to pick the underside surface. Next, we want the distance to be perpendicular with the floor, in other words, vertical. To do this, we use the ortho option with the Z direction locked on. Then picking the floor and selecting done. Over on the Project Navigator, the annotations are being recorded for future reference. Next, we will measure an angle using the Faces tool. Selecting the floor and then the wall shows us that the wall is at 90 degrees to the floor. And finally, Using the note tool, the saw table is selected so that a record about its relocation to the next room is made. An image can also be added to the note if required. Should the project end up with many annotations, the search tool can be used to enter in a keyword. For each search result, their visibility can be turned off or on, and more importantly, using the location option will take you to that annotation. 